this is an extremely affordable Harley Benton Telecaster. Is it the business or is it a dud? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Carilat, and it's good to have you along. Today we're taking a look at the Harley Benton TE52 Vintage Series. TE stands for Telecaster, yes! It's very affordable, it's 149 euros, which is not a lot of money, that's roughly, what should I say, 170-ish dollars, something like that. The body is American ash. It has a bolt-on neck, ma Canadian maple with rose acres, skunk stripe, uh, neck profile is C. The fretboard is maple, 21 frets. The pickups are two Roswell TEA Alnico 5 TE style single coils. Cluson style machine heads uh, comes with 10 to 46 gauge strings. So first impressions when looking at the guitar is that it looks very nice. I mean, I like this kind of natural finish. It looks like a telly. What can I say? Neck joint looks quite nice. Nothing wrong there. Yeah, these uh, tuners are the kind where you stick in the string that way. I'm not a big fan of those, but yeah, I think they're vintage style heads. I don't know. One thing I because I've been having I've had this sitting here for two weeks is that it developed a bit of fret sprout Nothing major, but I did have to file down the fret ends a bit um, Which is something if you're buying if you're a beginner buying your first guitar I don't think you want to be doing that Also, I had to adjust the truss rod a bit and I'm still not entirely happy I would actually take this to the luthier uh, to my luthier friend who has his shop next door But he's not there pros and cons so far Nothing, I mean, these are no huge deal breakers because it's only 150 euros, so I uh, kind of expect almost something like this in guitars of that price range. So, but no dead notes on the neck anywhere, a bit of buzz. That's why, why I would take it to the luthier. So, let's see what it finds, if, let's see what it finds out. Let's, let's see what it sounds like through an amp. Before we check uh, anything else, let's just see everything works. Yep, everything works. So I'm using the Marshall Plexi, which isn't entirely clean. Uh, but you can roll off the volume a bit to clean it all up. I mean, it was in tune when I bought it. Better. Um, yeah. My only kind of country lick that I know. And I don't know it too well.
Let's add a bit of overdrive. <laughs> So you can clean stuff up, uh, do jazzier stuff as well. So what do I think? I'm gonna go with, it's okay, it's not a bad guitar, uh, but the problem I have with this guitar is that I tried the Squire Bullet Tele uh, last week. Same price range, way better. At least it, or it made me want to play and I kind of, yeah, I'm feeling this, whereas with this, eh, kind of, I'm not feeling it. But that's an entirely subjective thing, so you might enjoy this very much. On the other hand, the, the problem, the other problem I have with this is that I would swap out the nuts, I would swap out the pickups, I would take it to the luthier, he would set it up properly, and uh, that would cost a bit. So if you're a beginner buying your first guitar, you have to do the fret ends, you have to set it up, Maybe not, but that's not to criticize this too much because setting up guitars in this price range you usually have to do that anyway, even on more expensive ones and uh, the fret sprout thing can happen on very expensive instruments even uh, but still, yeah, it's kind of, it's not bad, it's not great, it's kind of meh to yeah, something like that. So, maybe a no for me in on this occasion. Seems like Harley Bensons are a bit 
hit and miss. I've tried a Strat, I've tried a Les Paul, and I've tried a Telly. The Strat was not good, uh, the Les Paul was brilliant, and this is somewhere in the middle. If you want to watch more of my guitar reviews, there's a playlist here somewhere. There is also a playlist with my music. If you want to check that out, click like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing. Comment, let me know what you thought. And join me on Patreon because you get access to my Guitar Academy, you get all of my music, you can even take that stuff for free. And it also helps me with these reviews because I buy the gear that I review so you get an honest review. And this one, eh, I don't know. So I hope to see you in another one. I hope you have a nice day. Take care. Goodbye.